Imagine your Adam, a SpaceX Starship engineer obsessed with one goal, sending humans to Mars. Every day you wake up thinking about the Red Planet, driven by the dream of making humanity a multi-planetary species. The stakes are enormous and the pressure is relentless. For Adam this isn't just a job, it's a mission that could define the future of our civilization. The rockets are powerful, the vision is bold, but there's a hidden enemy. Heat. It's not the kind of heat you feel on a summer day, but a silent, invisible force that threatens everything. No matter how advanced the technology, this enemy lurks in the background, waiting to sabotage the mission. Heat sneaks into your spacecraft, warming the cryogenic fuels, liquid oxygen and methane, turning them into gas. These fuels must be kept at temperatures so cold, they're hundreds of degrees below freezing. Even the smallest amount of heat can start a chain reaction that spells disaster. They boil off, leaking away into space. The precious propellant you worked so hard to load is now vanishing, molecule by molecule, into the void. On a months-long Mars journey, you could lose a catastrophic amount of fuel. Every day the tanks get lighter, not because you're using the fuel but because it's escaping. The longer the trip, the greater the loss. It's like crossing a desert with a leaky canteen. No matter how carefully you ration, the water keeps dripping away, drop by drop, and you're never sure if you'll have enough to make it to the other side. This boil-off is a fundamental challenge for interplanetary travel. It's not just a technical nuisance, it's a life-or-death problem for the crew and the mission. Starship's tanks hold over 1,200 metric tons of propellant, kept at temperatures hundreds of degrees below zero. These tanks are engineering marvels, designed to withstand the harshest conditions but even they have limits, but space is filled with relentless solar radiation, constantly heating the ship. There's no shade, no atmosphere to protect you, just the unfiltered energy of the sun, beating down on the hull, trying to warm everything inside. Without a solution, the tanks would slowly empty, stranding the crew. The dream of reaching Mars could end in a silent, drifting spacecraft, millions of kilometers from home. Every gram of lost propellant is a gram you can't use to reach Mars. The margin for error is razor thin, and there's no way to call for a refill. The mission's success depends on plugging this cosmic leak. It's a race against time and physics, demanding creativity and precision from every engineer on the team. Even a small daily loss adds up to disaster over months. What seems like a minor issue on Earth becomes a mission-ending crisis in deep space. The fuel you have in Earth orbit is all you get until you can make more on Mars. There are no pit stops, no resupply ships waiting along the way. The rocket equation is unforgiving. Every bit of mass matters. The more fuel you lose, the less cargo, equipment or people you can bring. The math is brutal, and there's no way around it. Solving boil-off isn't just an upgrade, it's a requirement. It's the difference between a successful mission and a failed dream. Advanced insulation, active cooling and innovative engineering are all on the table. Without it, the dream of a Mars city stays a dream. The vision of humans living and thriving on another world will remain science fiction. For Adam and his team, this is an urgent, practical crisis. Every meeting, every late night in the lab, is focused on finding answers before it's too late. The entire Mars mission architecture depends on a fully-fueled starship waiting in orbit. If the tanks aren't full, the mission can't even begin. Multiple tanker flights will fill it, a process that could take weeks. Each flight is a logistical ballet, and every day the fuel must be kept cold and stable. During that time, the fuel must stay liquid. Any loss is a setback, and the margin for error is vanishingly small. The scale of the problem is immense, but the solution is non-negotiable. The future of interplanetary travel depends on it. Without it, humanity's Mars ambitions are dead on arrival. The dream of reaching another world will remain just that. A dream, unless we can solve the leaky bucket problem once and for all. Why can't we just wrap the tanks in a better blanket? It seems like a simple fix. Just add more layers, make the insulation thicker and the problem should go away, right? But in the harsh environment of space, things are never that easy. Physics says no. Heat travels through space via radiation, and the sun bombards the ship relentlessly, with no atmosphere to shield it. The vacuum of space doesn't stop heat, it just changes how it moves. Multi-layer insulation helps but only for short missions. It's like wearing a jacket in a snowstorm, it buys you time but not forever. For months in space it's not enough. The relentless heat finds its way in no matter how many layers you add. The cube square law complicates things. As tanks get bigger their volume grows much faster than their surface area. This means you can store more fuel but you also have more surface for heat to seep through. 
That should help, but the surface area is still huge. Plenty of room for heat to sneak in. Even the best designs can't escape this basic math. Every strut, pipe, and sensor becomes a thermal bridge. These connections act like tiny highways for heat, bypassing insulation and carrying warmth straight into the tanks. Over months, even tiny leaks add up. A slow drip here, a bit of frost there, eventually you lose precious fuel to boil off. Passive insulation can only slow the process, not stop it. No matter how thick the blanket, heat will eventually win. It's like trying to keep a freezer cold in the desert with a foam cooler. The ice melts just a little slower. For Mars, you need fuel for landing, return, and emergencies. Every drop counts, and you can't afford to lose any along the way. Arrive with half-empty tanks, and you're stranded. The mission and lives hang in the balance. The only answer, a radical active solution, a cosmic refrigerator. Only by constantly removing heat can we keep our fuel cold and our astronauts safe for the journey ahead. SpaceX engineers, including Adam, realized that simply relying on passive insulation wasn't enough to keep rocket fuel cold in the harsh environment of space. The vacuum of space, with its extreme temperatures and relentless sunlight, posed a unique challenge that demanded a more innovative solution. The answer was to actively remove heat using a cryocooler, a specialized refrigerator designed specifically for rocket fuel. This technology is far more advanced than your kitchen fridge, capable of operating in zero gravity and the vacuum of space. This system must work flawlessly for months at a time, without any chance for repair, while orbiting hundreds of miles above Earth. SpaceX's solution ingeniously combines deployable solar arrays with active cooling technology, harnessing the power of the sun to keep things cold. Once in orbit, Starship unfurls its massive solar panels, capturing sunlight and converting it into electricity to power the cryocoolers. The cryocoolers then chill a small amount of propellant, circulating it through advanced heat exchangers. This process draws heat away from the main tanks, ensuring the bulk of the fuel remains at the ultra-cold temperatures needed for months. Radiators mounted on the spacecraft then dump the unwanted heat into the emptiness of space, where it can't harm the precious fuel. The system forms a continuous loop. Solar panels generate electricity, powering the coolers which absorb heat from the fuel, and radiators eject that heat into space. It's a complex dynamic system, no longer just a passive vessel, but a living thermal ecosystem, constantly adjusting to keep everything in balance. This is the only way to keep rocket fuel stable and ready for use over the many months a spacecraft might spend in orbit, waiting for the right moment to depart. For long-duration Mars missions, there's simply no other path forward. Active cooling is essential for success. Adam and his team are building what is essentially a sun-powered refrigerator, but on an interplanetary scale, an engineering feat never before attempted, it's a bold gamble but a necessary one, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and opening the door to humanity's future among the stars. Zero boil-off isn't just for the trip to Mars, it's critical for SpaceX's entire strategy. One starship can't carry enough fuel for a round trip so the plan is orbital refueling. The Mars ship waits in orbit, empty, while tanker starships deliver fuel over weeks or months, without active cooling the fuel would boil off as fast as it's delivered. The cryocoolers are the plug in the leaky bucket. This orbital depot concept is the linchpin of Mars exploration. It lets SpaceX build up massive fuel reserves in orbit, enabling missions to Mars and beyond. The technology turns a temporary spacecraft into a persistent asset. The entire Mars campaign depends on this high-stakes orbital ballet. Storing fuel in space for months is the key that unlocks the solar system. This elegant solution comes with risks. First, weight solar panels, cryo coolers, radiators and control systems all add mass. Every extra kilogram is a penalty, mass that could have been payload or supplies. The system must save more fuel than it weighs. Second, complexity active cooling means pumps, valves, electronics, all must work perfectly for months. A single failure could doom the mission. Third, power cryo coolers are energy hungry demanding constant sunlight and battery backup, power management becomes mission critical. These risks, weight, complexity, power, are the price of long-duration spaceflight. Engineers must design for redundancy and reliability, testing every component to its limits. The gamble the benefits of a fully-fueled starship outweigh the risks of this complex machinery. The road to Mars is paved with failures and hard lessons. In 2022, Ship 36 was destroyed, not by engines, but by a failed pressure vessel deep inside. A small component's failure led to the loss of a multi-million dollar vehicle and months of work. 
The incident highlighted that every valve, pipe and tank truly matters. It was a warning. Speed and ambition must always be matched by discipline and safety. For complex systems like cryocoolers, there's simply no room for error. Now everything converges on a single test. SpaceX's first orbital refueling demo. This is the first real test of zero boil-off systems and in-space fuel transfer. Success would prove the concept, unlocking the path to Mars and beyond. Failure would mean delays, redesigns, and doubt. The stakes are enormous, not just for SpaceX, but for humanity's future in space. We stand at a crossroads routine orbital depots or a return to the drawing board. The upcoming test is the gatekeeper. Conquering boil-off is the final test before humanity's next giant leap.